Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. So this is technically a part two to a video I did not long ago that got uh, quite a lot of views, but I've also had uh, a lot of comments and I still get a lot of comments on that video about hidden collisions and issues when removing items from a map. So obviously you know that with some of the series I've been doing recently, I've had to customize the map, remove items, and then obviously build back onto it. And sometimes when you do that, you can get into issues where you find hidden collisions. Now the first video was mainly aimed at showing you how to like remove the fences, um, the cars, for example, something things that are quite simple, but say if you want to customize the map yourself, um, and obviously it's for personal use. I don't ever advise putting it onto a third party site, sharing any customizations you do for any map you play on. Just because of the fact if it gets onto a mod site, someone else re-downloads it. Um, it's taken away from the download that should be going to the, the mod author itself. So it's kind of an unspoken rule within the community on FS. Uh, just to keep things like private to yourself, customize it to your own liking, but then obviously keep it private out of respect for all the mod authors out there. So in the first video, I do actually go through a lot of information, uh, the basic information, when you need to use the Giants Editor tool, which you can see right now. Um, this is the software that you use when editing a map or the mod authors use when building a map, or same for any mod type as well. Now, in that first part of the video, I do go through some of the tools you're going to need, like WinZip that I use. There is other um, softwares like that, like WinRAR, but you basically need to download the map and it'll be zipped up in a file. You need to extract the map first so you can open the i3d file. You also need to download the Giants Editor tool. Um, and, and in that first video, I'll show you how to do that. So um, if you haven't done that and you're not sure and this is completely new to it, then I definitely go and recommend watching that first or else you'll be a little bit lost to the, the, the points that I'm going to show you right now. Uh, so yeah, I'll put a link now in the top right corner and uh, um, hopefully you can watch that, find out how to download the software that you need to start making some edits. Right, so with that all being sorted out, we're now gonna try and make a bit of a custom edit to this farm on Calmston. So you've probably seen this, um, I call it church farm in my roleplay series because it is technically a church, this part here. Uh, but we're gonna remove this part like I've done in the series. We're also gonna remove the walls and stuff like that. We're just gonna make it pretty simple. I'm not gonna show you exactly everything I did just because it'll take so long uh, but I'm just going to try and give you a bit of a basic um, guide to how to remove items. So the first thing you obviously want to do is just look through the place that you're trying to edit and just remove out anything you don't want. So we don't want this wall. So what we're going to do is we're going to delete it. I'll press in delete. Um, I'm going to keep this one in. We'll keep that section in. Uh, but what I do want to do is I want to remove this. So this is like one big block. And as you can see, I'm going to remove the church out. We're also going to remove that because we don't want the sound effect for the church. That's what that is there. So we're going to get rid of that. We're also going to get rid of some of these, you see like guttering, um, all this good stuff. That adds to the detail. Now that is a collectible. So I would advise probably twisting that around and just giving it a good move. So maybe there. So it's still in the game, but it's just moved places. Um, so we're going to get rid of the bike, the broom, the bucket, and the bins over here, because this is an area we want to actually start doing some uh, building on in-game. Now, there is a, a pane of glass there. You can probably just make it out. See it there? So what I want to do, it doesn't actually highlight that. So you need to keep your eye on them kind of things. Um, but I think there might be another one. You can also tell, like this, for example, See how the trees have disappeared? That's because there's another part there that we're going to have to remove that doesn't actually show up. So sometimes you'll get into the game and you'll probably have a few issues because you've not noticed there might be some hidden collisions um, and so on. But I'm going to show you the best way to try and figure that out because a lot of people are putting in the comments section that they're not finding them. They're getting into the game and there's hidden collisions and so on and they, they don't know where to get them from or, or to find them to, to remove them. So I'm pretty much happy now with that. We could put a shed here like I've done in my roleplay series. Uh, but the problem is now, without knowing until we jump in the game, you wouldn't know if there's a hidden collision. But there's a few things you can do, so a few tricks. So if we just go down here for a second, what I'm going to quickly show you is a way of finding the hidden collisions whilst in the GE. So it helps you quite a bit. So what you need to do is go to View, go on Show, and pick Physics. 
Now, nothing appears right now, but as soon as you press that play button, now we can see all the hidden collisions. So we know that the bin that we put there that we got rid of, it's got some. We've also got some hidden collisions here with the buildings that we've just removed. Now, it does increase on frame rate, this does, just so you know. So as I'm moving now, you can see that it's uh, taking a fair whack by doing that. It also shows you, like, triggers and anything like that. So you can see that the orange box there and there is a trigger. Uh, so this does help a lot whilst in GE. So you can actually figure out what you've moved and what kind of uh, physics systems have got going on. Now, we already know from this that we've got a bin that's got a... Um, collision that we need to remove we've also got these on this building now if we get rid of this um, just by pressing stop you can see that we get a frame rate back it's a lot better than what it was um, still not too good though at the moment but what else you can do is you can actually press this which is a little eye icon um, it looks like an eyeball or just an eye if you press first person mode what will happen is you'll jump to the ground and you'll be actually walking around so there's no more flight mode and you can walk around just by using the W, S, A and D keys and obviously moving your mouse. Now if I walk over here, I know we're smashing the, the frame rate at the moment and I'm not entirely sure why it's like that. So let's just take that off and see if we've put an extra... Let's take off bones, see if that helps. Maybe a little bit. So let's go back to first person. So I am walking right now, but I am hitting an object. So by using first person, you can also detect if there is an object there that's uh, causing a bit of issue. So if we exit that by pressing the escape key, so then what we're going to just quickly do is we're going to just fly back up in the air just to try and get a better... There we go. I think the whole frame rate was the fact that I had the road selected. There we go, that's much better. So, like I said, press the play button with physics enabled. So if you go to view, show, physics, you'll be able to see. Now, what we can do here to find where these are, you can make it a little bit quicker. Sometimes, though, sometimes it isn't the easiest thing to find. So you do have to select through one by one. Now, the best thing to do, though, is just close down all these categories like this. They're all open even gameplay. And if you highlight over an object like that, so I've highlighted gameplay and it's showing me now everything that's in that folder. So we already know that these physics here that are messing with us, um, with the, the actual um, collisions inside the game are in this gameplay folder or category. So if we open it up again and we can go through, so it's not gonna be an animal triggers, splines, there's nothing in there, collectibles. Now this doesn't work 100% of the time because what you've got to figure out is some of them are a lot hidden. Now collision culling is pretty much where you find a lot of the collisions anyway. So if we go through these now one by one, so I've just highlighted the first one. I'm just going to go through one by one until we figure out which number it is. So there we go, we've got 27. So we're going to delete 27. Now, I imagine 28 is one as well, which it is. So we're going to delete that. Um, and then maybe 29 could be 30. If we press play again, we can see what we've got left. We've still actually got some collisions here as well. So we did need to remove them, but there is more. Right, so we've just gone through pretty much all the collisions and we've pretty much picked out all the ones we think that it was highlighting. Now, this is a perfect example of these are still here. And if we go down there, We'll have collision issues and also the trees. Even if we go into the game now and uh, we put a building down, which could be done, um, when you stand here, you'll get some funny flickering visuals just because of the type of collision that it is. Now, some of these are hidden, and I mean hidden within the hidden ones. Um, it's pretty tricky to find. So if you go to collision now and open it up, you can see that some of them are like grayed out. Now, if we go through these and we actually take off the the stop button you can see that one's there so that's one we need to delete so number four and we're also going to delete number five and number six and number seven and then again number seven so if we actually press play now what you'll see is they've all disappeared 
So we've got rid of everything. So the only thing that left that now I want to delete out is this object here. Now this isn't in collisions because if we go back to gameplay, it doesn't show up. I know from doing this before, uh, normally you would just go through all the collisions like I just showed you. So you go with that to collision calling. Um, it probably highlight in green if it was visible. Um, if it's not, make sure you open up the ones that are invisible. Um, and what you can do is go through them one by one. If nothing shows up in the area that it should be, you know that it's going to be in something else. Now, a lot of the objects on Karmazin, like that, are pretty much in the objects section. You can see that it's now highlighted. If we actually turn this off, you can still see there's a green box there showing that there is something in that folder. So what you do then is open it up. Now, a lot of the time it's either going to be in clutter, which this one is, either my models, it could be in other models. Uh, a lot of the time it's that. It could be foliage as well if you're trying to get rid of a tree. But a lot of the time that is pretty much your main ones where you've got the hidden collisions. So if we go to clutter, now this is where it can get a little bit um, repetitive because really, unless you know the name exactly, all you have to do is pretty much pick them and just go through them one by one until that green box picks up. Now I know it's a bin, hopefully it won't be too far away. Um, you can say like wheelbarrow or something, you, you know you can look for something. Uh, so say we went to bin here, it could be called that. But what I'm going to do now is just going to go through them, which is what you need to do it yourself in your game if you're having issues with hidden collisions and try and find the one that you think it could be until you see the green box pop up and then when it is um, all we need to do is delete it right so I've just got to it you can see that a lot of this in this area all shows up so a lot of it's been placed in the same place so uh, they're all grouped together really so now we got waste cart and you can see that it's here so even though we deleted the object called waste cart it probably would have been in a folder like this one see how it's got two different things in there it's got the visual which is something we've already deleted out and then it's got the collision for it technically so what we're going to do now is just delete that which is our waste cart collision and now we are all done so that is pretty much everything in this area that i wanted to remove so now if we go back to this first person have a little walk you can see that I've got no flickering now on the trees. So that helps a lot. And we've got no collisions, even with that little bin that was here. So the only collisions we should have is the wall, which it is. And this wall, you can see that I can't move into that wall. I'm just moving left and right on it. Um, let's have a go at this wall. Yep, so we've stuck on that one as well. So this is pretty much... The way you need to do it you need to put a little bit of time and effort into it finding the right object um, but like i said the, the mostly the collisions are in the gameplay section under collisions on comms and some maps might be made differently with the, the map author but they're definitely going to be in this so if you open the i3d file up for that map it's definitely going to be in there somewhere look in objects you know use the tips that i showed you press the play button with uh, the view and show physics because then it'll show any objects that are missing or you can't see visually until you get into the game and actually walk into it. That's always a good way. And then you can also jump down to first person mode, and see if you're hitting them objects still, um, which is always a good option. And then just go through them. So like if you hit gameplay, I know for a fact I've got a few there which are collectibles. That's also a, um, I think that's another collectible it is. Um, some objects as well, like seasons, there might be like a barbecue here, for example, which it is, but because it's a season item, depending on the time of year, so it'll be a grill in the summer, it might be like a snowman in the winter. It will actually come under seasons. So if you go into the the, the snow, uh, snowman group and all that kind of stuff, it, it, uh, it'll definitely all be in there, but it's all sectioned off inside. So hopefully this has helped you out and answered any of the questions that I'm getting about. I keep getting hidden collisions. I've tried what you did in the first video, but there's still collisions there. They are there to find. Hopefully these tips will help you home in on the collision that you're trying to remove. So on that note, I think I'm going to leave the video there. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Hopefully this video has helped you out. Hopefully you found, found it useful and informative. If you have, please give it a thumbs up because that does help my channel out. And if you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos just like this one on Farming Simulator.